Hey you guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Stud Tech. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit more work on the Victorian house. Now, last time we were working here, you guys said that this piano, this whole, this room should be opened up a little bit. And you know what? I completely agree. In fact, I think what we're actually going to do is really open up the room and actually, we're going to go ahead and take down this entire wall and basically turn this into one big open room with a couple of different um, spaces, I guess we would call them. Little sections, if you will. So there'll be, for example, the dining section right over here. Then we'll have kind of the uh, the entertainment gathering section over here where the piano is. And then maybe some uh, some couches, kind of like a little living space, a little living room over here. I think that'll actually look pretty cool uh, once it's all done. So, first thing is first, we do have to get rid of the wall. And that's almost finished. There we go. Goodbye, wall. Now, I think I want to reposition the piano and put that right uh, where can we put it? I guess right there. I guess that's pretty much the only place that we can put it. Uh, but that's fine. That will work. We can get rid of these torches because we're going to have some torch lighting in here. And actually, let's let's think about this a little bit before we start tearing that up. I think... I think we need to make a run to the warehouse to get some supplies. That's what I think. And creepers, creepers are a thing. You may notice the giant hole in the ground over there. Those darn creepers. That's all right, though. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of that at some point anyway and replace it with a path. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just something that I was kind of hoping to, you know, I, it's just a thing. Like when, when creepers decide they're just going to randomly show up and start blowing up the landscape around your house. It's just, that's just not very considerate of them. I don't know. Let's grab some bookshelves. I'm sure we'll need those. Uh, is there anything else in here that we need? Um, uh, maybe a flower pot. But what I really want to find is my wool. Where, oh, where... Oh, I think I know where it is. I think it's in this room, right over here. Yeah, here we go. We got some carpets. We got wool of various different colors. Let's just grab a few different ones. Um, That should be enough, I think. And then I want some string if I can find it, because that would also be extremely helpful, since... That's also a thing that you need to make all those fancy carpets and stuff. So, I think this is a pretty good start. Um, I do think I want to put back the birch planks, though, and grab maybe some dark... No, 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 no. We've got the... We have... We have mods for furniture. Let's, let's stick with real furniture, because it's going to look a little out of place if I have uh, furniture that is not part of the mod. So... Let's come over here, and first things first, let's take a look at crayfish, because I know that I'm going to want a couple of the couches. There they are, and that's just wool. Okay. Now, can I? No. All right, so it actually has to be white wool. Hmm. And... The couch ends up white, and I don't know that you can dye it, which is a change from the old crayfish furniture mod. That's a little... I'm not really sure why they changed, why he decided to change that. It used to be that you could get couches of uh, pretty much any color, so I'm not sure what his reasoning there was. Or maybe I'm just, you know, an idiot and don't actually know how to use the mod. That's certainly a possibility as well. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and make ourselves... Maybe three couches. That should be a nice big couch, and we can put that right here. 
And then maybe we'll do like a little love seat type couch as well. Um, let's make let's make four. And that way we could do something like mm, not like in that one. But we could put like a little chair there. And maybe a chair here, and then there can be like a little coffee table in the middle. I think that'll work out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we would do... Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think maybe what we should do... Is put that there. Grab one thing of glowstone and break it with our hands just so we get a little bit of glowstone dust. And then, um, let's just put some of the wool away for now because I don't need it right this second. I do, however, need some carpenter's blocks. And that is not the recipe for carpenter's blocks. What am I doing? Whew. So, Carpenter's Block there, and then Glowstone. If you shift right-click it, that will light this up. And that's what I really want, is for this area to be lit up. Um, because I just think that'll look really nice. Now, we want a coffee table of some sort. Uh, something like that. That should do the trick nicely. Beautiful. And we'll just put that right there. So we got a little... A little living space over in here, looking fancy. It is getting dark, so let's take a nap real quick. Just because, you know, sleeping is a thing. Now, we need to fill up a lot of space. We've got kind of all this space right in here. So I think what we'll do is we'll put maybe an area rug... And I'm going to put a torch there and there. How will that do for light? That'll do pretty well for light. And then we can maybe go something like that. How's that look for an area rug? Hmm. It's nice, but color-wise, it doesn't fit the rest of the house. So, I think what we'll maybe do instead is I'll take something like this, and then we'll grab, uh, what is it, is it the black wool? I think it's the black wool surrounded by string. Like that? No? Maybe it's black wool surrounding string. Ah, there it is. I knew it was something like that. And we'll take these black carpets and we'll bring that around like this. And that will kind of fit the theme of the rest of the house as far as the colors go. We'll have some white, we'll have some black. Now we need something in this space. So, I think the obvious solution is some bookshelves, and then we can go into, hmm, I'm guessing I put them in the Ender backpack. Yes, I did. Good, good, good. We can take some of these. Don't suppose I have any oak wood. Hmm. That's all right. I think we'll use spruce. We will use spruce, and we will see how this looks and go from there. Uh, let's grab these spruce wood panels right here. And I'm just going to chop up maybe two of them and turn them all the way into the covers. And then what we'll do with these is we'll run them right up the sides like that. And then like this. And that. And then here, like that, and there, and I can I get that one? Oh, just barely. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, if I do say so myself. I like it. 
It's kind of an interesting little shape for a bookshelf. Um, now we do for sure want these strips, and it looks like I'm going to have to chop up one more. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. I think I'm just silly and don't know how to geometry. One there. One there. Looking good. Okay, now we have this painting. And I think that this would be a great place for a painting like that. I think that will look very nice. Um, these... These, I think, need to come down. And maybe we'll do the, uh, the carpenter's block lighting over here again, too. Like so. Apply the palm texture. Okay. Nice, nice. Looking good. Now, I want... I kind of want something to, like, divide this side of the room from over here, but I'm not really sure what. And I also definitely need to fill up this space, although I have actually a pretty good idea for how to do that. Let's come over to the factory and see if I've got any clay. Do I have clay? If I did, it would be right... Ooh, actually, do I already have any stained clay? Because that's what I really need. Yes, I do. Good, good, good. Okay. So, what we're going to do with this is make a couple of really big flower pots. Um, you can go over there. And then... I think for now, we'll just put these carpets away. And the couches. I'm not going to need the couches anymore either. And then I need just a little bit of dirt, which should be right here. Beautiful. Okay. So, what we can do with these is we can add some flowers and some plants and things to this room, which I think will dress it up quite nicely and make it a lot more appealing. So I think what we'll do is we'll take those flower pots and maybe right about here, we'll do a three wide flower pot, I think. And then in there, we'll, we'll plant some, oh, not that one. We'll plant maybe some flowers like that. How's that look? Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, although I'm thinking it would look a little better if they were all one color. So maybe we'll do the white ones. Just because it kind of matches everything else. And then over here, to kind of divide the room a little bit, we could do another little flower type feature. Same sort of a thing. Maybe use blue just to give us a little splash of color in the room. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then we need to figure out something for this wall. And I hate to use another painting, but I'm thinking that another painting might just be the best option. Um, although I think I may have just put all of my wool. No, no, I didn't. Good, good, good. I still have wool. We're good. Okay. So, let's actually make a couple of these, because I might need more in a minute. But for sure, right here, we need something. Um, and I want, what I really want is a two by one, not a, not a four by two, two by one. Oh, but I don't want the same one that's already up there. No. Why are paintings in Minecraft so difficult? They really shouldn't be. Like... These things are just so much more complicated than they should be. Um, okay. Fine. We'll play it your way. Bam. How you like that? So that'll give us kind of a little bit over there. We need something up on this wall as well. I'm almost tempted to put another painting, but I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point now where we've probably had more paintings than we should have. Um, let's go to the shelves from DecoCraft. 
Shit. Shelf. There we go. And let's just make a few of those. And we'll maybe put some shelves. We could maybe put a couple up here, actually. That wouldn't look too bad. Especially if we put... Can we put a flower pot on this? If not, that's going to make me very sad. Oh, we can't. Hmm. Okay. So you can put deco craft items on it, but you can't put normal Minecraft ones on there. Duly noted. Um, we might be able to work around that, though. I'm thinking, where did we have it? Like right there? Yeah, put some shelves up like that. Maybe here. I feel like we need a little bit more just like right in here as well. Let's take a look at Crayfish again. Or Bibliocraft. Maybe there's something that would fit the bill here in Bibliocraft. Something like... Ooh, like a desk. That might work quite nicely. What else do we have? A desk and a printing press. That, the printing press I don't think would work out very well. But the desk might work beautifully. Hmm. Or we've got these uh, fancy display cases too, but those, those don't sit on the floor if I remember correctly. What's this? Ooh, a cookie jar! Oh, but I actually need a cookie for that. I don't know. I don't have any cookies. Too bad. Um, okay, let's go for the desk. I think the desk will work. The desk will work quite well. So, let's see. For the desk, we need a feather, we need slabs, planks, and a torch. Okay, that should all be doable. Feathers we should have right there. Ooh, not as many feathers as I thought, though. That's okay. We'll make... Ooh, that's right. Those need to be chiseled back to normal planks before I can work with them. So let's do that. Uh, those come down there. That goes like this. Feather. And torch. Let's make two. I don't know if it's a connected texture. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it's not. But if it is... Uh, it's not quite connected, but it also doesn't look terrible either. Hmm. We might just stick with that. Just have two desks right next to each other or something. I don't know. It looks like it's already dark. How does it get dark so fast? I swear, we just slept. Silly. That's all right. Okay. So we'll come back over to our lovely dining room, and I think... Did I lose my desks? No, there they are. We could put maybe something like that right there. Yeah, now we've got a room. This is this is actually starting to look like something pretty cool now. You know, we've got our little living room area over here. We've got a desk, we got the flowers, dining room. We'll need some uh some decorations up on the shelves and I think we'll need probably something else to go up here as well. Maybe um, you know what? For now, I'm just going to leave it. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is looking good. And I think, uh, I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.